Hi, I'm Scott Graff. Welcome to May 2022 Phoenix Housing Market Update. Now, there's a good chance that you received a postcard that looks like this. I have three data points to share with you on this video. Data point number one is the average sale price in Phoenix Metro. This month, last month, excuse me, the average sales price was $595,000. Compared to last month, that's an increase of $14,000. Compared to one year ago today, it's an increase of $95,000 because the average sales price was $500,000, okay? Data point number two is active listings. Right now, we're sitting a little bit higher than last month by actually 2,000 homes. We're at 6,700 active listings, whereas a month ago, we we're at 4,700 active listings. So we actually have a little bump in inventory, uh, which is good. Um, the, third, uh, the third data point is the sold price to list price ratio. We actually bumped, we're at 102%. We actually are up 1% um, since a month ago. And although that doesn't seem like a lot, it actually, it actually uh, is a lot. Uh, so that's the third data point on our market update. Now, um, on our website, teamgraph.com, we publish hyperlocal content weekly, daily actually. And there was three articles that I'd, I'd like to bring attention to on this market update video. Uh, the first article is why Phoenix of all places has the fastest growing home prices in the United States. So Elliot Pollock, a local economist, says, quote, for 33 months now, Phoenix, Arizona has led the nation in home price increases, okay? Uh, he goes on to say that since the year 2000, we've had a, our area has risen 216% on median home prices, as compared to the median salary is only uh, increased by 48%. So um, clearly what this article is articulating is that Phoenix is not as affordable as it once was. We always led with affordability. Well, I'd say we led with our climate and our quality of life. Affordability was always in there and affordability is definitely dwindling as, uh, as we all know. The second article <clears throat> of the three, I've got three to bring attention to. Uh, Arizona ranks number four amongst best states for business. I'm gonna read the, the opening sentence. It says, Arizona climbed the rankings of yet another economic survey this week, placing it in the top four. Uh, Arizona rose six spots since 2021 based on a survey of nearly 700 CEOs and business owners in all 50 states. So Phoenix has always been, Arizona, but Phoenix in particular, has always been um, an attractive climate for businesses. Uh, a lot of businesses uh, are relocating here for a number of reasons, affordability, the climate, um, uh, quality of life for their employee base, uh, talent acquisition, et cetera. So, um, but we're number four now, go figure. That's awesome. All right, uh, last but not least, because this is about my hometown, here's how Tempe is feeling Arizona's economy. Now, I'm gonna um, skip right down to uh, the reason why as quoted by the mayor. So Mayor Corey Woods, Tempe says, I would say in Tempe, we've always been known for our innovative spirit. Excellent words, Corey. I, uh, I couldn't agree more. And then he goes on to say, there have been mayors and city council members from decades past that had a vision of what this city could become. Now, having grown up through all this and seen all the changes, um, it's really exciting to see all that vision come to fruition from Tempe Town Lake to everything happening around, you know, ASU area, uh, North Tempe, etc. Okay, uh, that was it on our hyperlocal content, which again, we publish daily on teamgraph.com. Also, if you're not connected to us online, you could find us on our, our Facebook page at Team Graph, or you could follow me on Instagram at Scott Graph. Now, last but not least, um, if you did receive our monthly market update, um, we highlighted this month our infamous welcome home video. Now, we do a welcome home video each month, and this month we, um, we profiled our, um, one of our repeat clients, Abby Guillaume, and it's just a wonderful video. If you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, I invite you to do so. Um, I'm Scott Graff. 
This is May 2022, Phoenix Housing Market Update. Thanks for watching.